Darren Ray Fonso, Office of the Attorney General State of Washington Olympia, Washington Dear Attorney General, as a constituent deeply embedded in the struggle for justice within our workers' compensation and social security disability insurance systems, I am compelled to write to you not just in search of systemic reform, but also in pursuit of personal redress and acknowledgement of the injustices I have faced. This letter encapsulates a demand for both broad systemic changes and specific attention to the personal harm done to me and, by extension, my family due to the negligence and perceived betrayal by our lawmakers, notably State Representative Mary Foss. Highlight of betrayal and the need for accountability, my journey as a workers' compensation whistleblower has been met with resistance, silence, and outright betrayal, notably by figures like State Representative Mary Foss, whom I had hoped would stand as an ally in the fight for justice. Instead, actions taken have felt more like an attempt to silence my voice, leaving me to question the values and priorities of those elected to represent us. This silence not only undermines the principles of justice and accountability, but also sets a disheartening example for my children, who witness their father's legitimate grievances being disregarded, his calls for justice unanswered, and his character unfairly maligned. Demand for systemic reform, I urge your office to champion the following reforms, reflective of an urgent need to overhaul a system that currently fails too many, establishment of a National Workers' Compensation Commission, to ensure fairness and uniformity across states. Expansion of ombudsman programs to all workers, providing much-needed support and advocacy. Inclusion of medical marijuana in workers' compensation and Medicare, recognizing its therapeutic benefits. Comprehensive reform of the SSDI system, addressing systemic flaws that penalize rather than support the vulnerable. Transparent and honest engagement from lawmakers, holding them accountable for their actions and inactions. Demand for personal redress, in light of these systemic failures and the specific betrayals I have experienced, I am demanding $5 million in damages. This figure not only seeks to compensate for the financial hardships endured, but also acknowledges the profound emotional, psychological, and reputational damage inflicted upon me. This demand is rooted in a fundamental need for justice, to be made whole in the face of ongoing negligence and to signal to my children and fellow citizens that such grievances are taken seriously and addressed with the gravity they deserve. The path to justice and reform is fraught with challenges, yet it is a path we must tread with integrity and determination. The issues at hand transcend personal grievances, touching upon the very essence of what it means to live in a just society. As such, I implore your office to take decisive action, not only in addressing my demands for personal redress, but also in initiating the systemic reforms needed to protect and support all workers in Washington State and beyond. I await your response and the actions your office will undertake to rectify these injustices. Let this letter serve not just as a plea for justice, but as a call to action for all those who believe in the principles of accountability, transparency, and the unyielding pursuit of what is right. Sincerely, Darren Ray Fonso.